Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about a dangerous storm that will be impacting parts of the United States today bring the risk for severe weather with all modes of severe weather possible this includes damaging winds large hail and perhaps a couple of tornadoes I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll first begin with the Ohio Valley and this is an area that's been seeing a lot of rainfall over the past 24 hours. I've had many of my followers send in photos of legitimate flooding on streets in this area. There's been a ton of rainfall over the past 24 hours. And unfortunately, this is all due to a jet stream that is not just very strong, but the winds aloft are very slow. So we're just seeing consistent rainfall in this area, which is causing a lot of havoc. We've seen several inches of rain across parts of Ohio. Luckily, this is starting to weaken out now as we go throughout the later morning into the afternoon hours. But there is another round of storms expected later today and this will bring more severe weather including all modes of severe weather in addition to this it'll bring more rainfall that is not needed at this point after the amount of rain that we just saw last night so really not good news at all for those in Ohio and across a large chunk of the Ohio Valley and even back through parts of Pennsylvania back over in the central plains the heat dome continues to move a bit further down to the south and west so this is no longer originating back over in parts of the Midwest this is now over the central plains and again over the next few days this will continue to move down to the south and west and migrate basically retreat Reading away from the Midwest, and this will allow for this relentless heat to really more focus itself across parts of the Central and Southern Plains, and the Midwest will start to see some relief as we go into next week, so there is some good news there. Elsewhere across the United States, we still have that ring of fire set up. That basically means our heat dome is sitting in the dead center. Meanwhile, in the outskirts, we have some showers and storms, and that is obviously coming from what we just saw over in Ohio. Pretty much a similar motion there, but overall, in the center of this heat dome, we are still seeing really hardly any wind, along with excessive heat which is not going to be going anywhere anytime soon and then in terms of the tropics we have a lot of stuff to talk about one of which will be in the gulf of mexico that'll be coming up shortly and then back over in the atlantic ocean we have tropical storm franklin this is moving off to the north it is currently not expected to impact the united states but we'll keep you posted if anything changes there here's a quick update on the tropics here across the atlantic ocean we have four different areas that we're watching two of which could impact the united states two of which will not at all so right now we have remnants of emily that's trying to re-strengthen if this does become a tropical storm again Again, it would become Tropical Storm Emily. We have another area of development back over in parts of the Central Atlantic Ocean. Then we have Tropical Storm Franklin. This is slowly moving to the north. It will impact Bermuda. And then back over into the Eastern Pacific Ocean. This is going to be crossing into the Atlantic Ocean, moving to the north toward Florida. So this could actually impact Florida as we go next week. It very well could become a Tropical Storm or Hurricane down the road. As of right now, Tropical Storm Franklin is moving very slowly actually to the east. It will begin to move north over the next few days. It is expected to become a Category 1 or Category to hurricane low chance it does get to a category three hurricane by the time it gets near bermuda and the national hurricane center has given this a very large cone of uncertainty that means this eye could go anywhere on the west side or east side of this most computer models are keeping this out of shore so as of right now no major impacts are expected to coastal regions but be monitoring your weather if you're right along the coastline there could be an increase of waves maybe some rip currents that sort of stuff make sure you're monitoring that very closely but look back over into the gulf of mexico this system is actually more concerning in my opinion i do think this has a good chance uh, becoming a tropical storm perhaps even a low-end hurricane as this goes toward florida especially in a very prime environment for tropical storms and hurricanes very warm ocean waters low shear this should be able to develop into a tropical storm as it moves toward florida again there is still some uncertainty it kind of depends on what happens here over the next 48 hours as this goes in the atlantic ocean there definitely is some uncertainty right now with this system now looking at the future radar in the european model this is for the tropics for this particular system going into the weekend nothing expected through the weekend but next week notice this low pressure system that comes out of the Caribbean going into the southeast Gulf of Mexico 1,002 millibars by around Monday night into Tuesday that would indicate at least a tropical depression or storm and then once we go into Wednesday this will start to move its way toward Florida but again there's a lot of uncertainty this could go further west could go further east there's really no science into telling where this is going to make landfall and who's going to be impacted and really how intense this will be at this current time because there's just so much uncertainty with this system past this weekend once we go into Wednesday and Thursday though this would likely make landfall it very well could become at least a tropical storm if not maybe a category one hurricane so we'll keep you posted with the latest again this is a no hype forecast there's definitely a reason to be concerned here but there's a lot of stuff that could happen between now and then so make sure you're staying tuned with us on your youtube channel make sure you subscribe down below now in terms of the excessive heat across the united states it's massive this is the ugliest map i've seen all year there's so many pink boxes and purple boxes that all indicates the excessive heat warnings and as well as the red flag warnings that we have down here and again this is unbelievable we've had an excessive heat warning area for multiple weeks now 
now, if not months, across the United States. And this is our massive heat dome. The worst of the summer is ongoing right now. After this, fall is coming. Hopefully, we'll have some cool downs on the horizon. Uh, we do have some heat advisories in effect as well. Those orange boxes that do span from Minnesota back through parts of Texas and as well as into Alabama. So that is also ongoing right now. So make sure, again, you're monitoring all signs of heat illnesses. As again, heat illnesses are the number one cause of death in terms of weather here across the United States. Let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days, and we'll begin with tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday. As of right now, there is a slight risk of severe weather across Michigan, western parts of New York, northwest Pennsylvania, and northern Ohio, even a little sector there of northeast Indiana. Marginal risk does surround that. Overall, today's risk of severe weather is primarily damaging winds, and there's even a hatched area that does indicate the risk for some exceeding damaging winds passing 75 miles per hour. So an isolated storm or two will produce the threat of damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour so definitely make sure you're hatching down trampolines today's trampoline meter is at a medium risk so definitely make sure you're taking that seriously take down any patio furniture anything that could fly away loose line items cover plants all that sort of stuff make sure you do that today large hail concern is primarily going to be across michigan with those initial supercells that fire off tonight that'll be an area that we're watching for large to very large hail and look at the tornado risk there's a five percent probability here across parts of pennsylvania new york northern ohio and as well as eastern parts of michigan basically around lake erie is going to be our best probability here for an isolated tornado or two i might go live for this event tonight so make sure you hit the subscribe button down below it's free to do and make sure you click the bell icon so you're notified if and when i do go live for this severe weather event but again that tornado risk is still on the lower side it's definitely no by no means high but it is definitely gonna be something we have to watch out for tonight here's the timing where we begin with michigan we're gonna go state by state so beginning with michigan this is where the storm activity will begin tonight around five six seven o'clock that's when those initial cells will develop this is seven o'clock eastern time near mount pleasant storms will fire off very quickly these will rapidly intensify and also rapidly spread out in terms of coverage so we're going to see numerous to widespread storm activity by 10 o'clock storms are moving through flints and as well as going toward detroit and near grand rapids eventually by 11 to 12 o'clock these storms are moving down to the south through detroit and eventually going into ohio during the overnight hours here's the timing for ohio storms will be entering toward cleveland going closer to midnight to one in the morning so again line of storms producing the threat of damaging winds perhaps a little bit of large hail maybe an isolated tornado by around three to four in the morning these storms move down to the south and east notice areas like columbus delaware likely not to see storms overall i'm not expecting much storm activity there maybe an isolated passing storm or two but overall most of the storm activity will likely stay to your east for those in pennsylvania storms will not arrive until around midnight as well eventually by one to two in the morning this activity of storms will be mainly damaging winds moving down to the south and east court going towards st mary's by three in the morning eventually near williamsport and by the morning hours some showers maybe an isolated rumble of thunder still happening back down near lancaster and philadelphia as we go into the morning hours and then for those in the midwest you are under a risk of severe weather if you're near the chicago suburbs but this will be very isolated storm activity isolated large hail maybe some damaging winds i'm not really expecting a tornado risk out of this activity but this storm activity will be very isolated so most of you will not see it but if you do that severe weather threat will be mainly damaging winds and lightning as well and as we go throughout the rest of the evening again most of that storm activity will stay off to the east areas like indiana are going to be like a 50 50 you might see storms or you might not so again stay tuned i do plan on going live for this tonight so make sure you subscribe down below and have the bell icon clicked so you're notified if and when i go live thanks so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've done already